Drew Verhagen is healthy and pitching well. Four and a third scoreless to this point. And Drew, last season, you had a shoulder, you had a hip issue, you had surgery. You went through a lot. How good does it feel to be healthy and doing your thing? Oh, it, it feels great. It really does. It's uh, Last year was a tough year on me just to have to sit and watch and uh, not be able to go out and play the game I love. So it feels good to be out there working on my craft every day with the guys, being in, you know, being in the games and being a part of hopefully a lot of wins this year. There was a lot going on last year with Albert and his run toward 700. Guys always say, though, there's a feeling of isolation when you're part of the team, but you're injured and trying to get well what's it like going through that especially when there's history being made yeah it's not it's not a natural feeling you know you try to bring as much positivity as you can to the team but sitting on the sidelines or in the dugout and watching even at home after surgery it just doesn't feel natural and it it, it hurts so i wanted to be a part of that i was able to at least experience some of that in person but um this is this is a better feeling this year to be back when you get signed by a team in that first season with the new club, mostly injured and you didn't get a chance to show what you could do, when you do come back, is there a danger of trying too hard? Do you sort of have to harness that energy? Maybe at times I could see that, but, you know, I'm just so so happy to be able to, like I said, work on my craft every day that I'm just I'm stuck in that process right now. Not stuck, but I'm in, immersed in it. and. And it feels good. Like you said, last year I was hurt on a new team. I think I pushed myself a little further than I probably should have through some pain. But now it's fixed and it's in the past, so happy to be back. Everyone talks about your spin rate, especially the guys uh, that follow the analytics. You always hear about spin rates and how that can be really a difference maker for a pitcher. Are you a guy who is aware of that stuff? Or are you just, like you said, focused on the process, going out and trying to do your job? Yeah, we get we get a report every every single pitch we throw. We we know if you want to look at it to know what the spin is, the vertical break, all these numbers. And I'm aware of it to where if it was drastically different on a certain day, I would be aware of it and maybe think about how I could adjust that because it does it does benefit you. But I'm not really trying to do that. I'm not trying to focus on that in the game. I'm just focusing on executing pitches and getting outs. Life in the bullpen, you're really one of the veteran guys. you got a lot of young arms out there. Is there an element of uh, leadership and, and helping some of the younger guys for you out there? Maybe in some ways, but, man, we got a really good crew out there. We have a lot of arms that could throw high leverage innings. So these guys are these guys are handling their business the right way. They're, they're doing everything they need to be doing. So for me, it's, you know, it's pretty easy being the veteran in a, on a bullpen like that. So it's been enjoyable. Last thing, I know you're very happy to be back and comfortable in your role, but you've been a starter before. Is that something you think about maybe down the road, getting back to being a starting pitcher? I would like that down the road. I think I have the weapons to do that. I have a lot of pitches that I can use, but right now I'm just focused on here and now and, and what my role is, and that's just, like I said, executing pitches every day. It's going good. Keep it going. Thanks for the time. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. All right, guys, Drew Verhagen.